What's up, YouTube? All right, so let's get it here. Uh, I've been asked this topic a couple of times, and a lot of people have been asking when I should quit trading forex. Uh, that is such a broad perspective and such a broad question. And so I want to come down and dive down like some situations when you should quit trading forex, especially for those that are brand new and are thinking about quitting. And they're thinking about, you know, that this isn't the opportunity that they're shooting for, or this is what what they wasn't thinking. Well, the first off, the first off question, uh, the first question that you should ask yourself is why you're going to get into uh, trading forex, anyways, or why are you going to get into day trading? You know, whether it be stocks, futures, options, or even um, trading day trading crypto. And so, that question should always be asked on a daily basis because. If you don't understand the reason why you're doing what you're doing, then you're not going to understand the how and the what. And that goes into other, you know, perspectives and aspects of the mindset, your discipline, and how you're going to live your lifestyle. And so I cannot answer when you should quit Forex. Now, obviously, for those that have been trading for multiple years, three, four, five, or even their, you know, are their second year and they're cons consistently not growing the account and you're on the edge of just thinking about leaving everything because you're not for sure if this is going to be the opportunity, then I would highly recommend and dive down to your mindset and the way you look at and anticipate the trading, uh, the aspect of yourself with the markets and how when it's volatile, how do you react to the volatility of the markets and what is it exactly that you're really seeing when you get into your technical analysis, your fundamental analysis, and how you're having the balance of trading schedule, you know, with your lifestyle. So there's a lot of, there, like I said, there's a lot of things to look into. And I cannot say that you should just quit Forex right now and go pursue a different career or just quit Forex and stay at your job. If this is something that you truly, truly want to make it happen, and this is something that you really want to dive down and make this a long time career, you seriously got to dive down within yourself to guide yourself every single day, right? Because when the market's open, everybody's anticipating Sunday, especially those that live in, in here in the United States, those that are trading offshore or even uh, with United States brokers. But if, if I'm here in the United States and I'm anticipating Sunday, you know, and I'm going to start trading when the market's open, obviously I am that much reactive in getting in into the markets. But what is going to happen from Monday and all the way to Friday, right? And if I'm consistently losing the account and blowing the accounts, you know, and I'm not making any consistent gains, and I'm not consistently growing the account, see, I'm talking about consistency, then there is no point of you trying to keep trading and keep trading and not getting anywhere in your, in, your, uh, in your trading career. Once you start this, you know, it can be very rewarding, but most people take it to a different bad approach and they take it on a negative way and most times people just look at it as hype. And I'll be honest, like I said, there's a lot of hype going on in this, in this field, in this industry right now. And I highly recommend do your own research and do your own due diligence on looking at where you want to go in, in trading. You know, and it doesn't have to be Forex, but if this is something that you want to invest in your time and stay committed, and if you have a full-time job, you got to understand that this is going to be a part-time gig until you get something going. Until you build the account that you really want to get on, whether it be building up to a ten thousand dollar account, uh, could be a fifty thousand dollar account, could be a hundred thousand or more, right? Those of you that don't have enough money, you come in with a few hundred dollars or maybe fifty dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever, and you're slowly, consistently building the account so you can build your skill sets along the way and you gain the experience. You know, with trading when the market is really uh, volatile and when the market is not that much volatile. And so 
everything goes back into, you know, your attitude, your mindset, and the discipline behind all that. And not many people are focusing on themselves to make themselves better within trading because ultimate goal is to better yourself in all aspects in life. And so I can't stress that enough because it doesn't matter what I'm doing. doesn't matter what I say. It doesn't matter where, where I'm going because this, this is the life that I'm living, you know? So, but if this is when you should ask yourself when I should quit, depends when you want to quit, right? If you already made the amount of money that you're making right now, you know, you hit your daily goals, you have your weekly goals, you have your monthly goals, you have your yearly goals, right? You got a five-year plan, 10-year plan. I'm talking about goals because some people have these general ideas or general numbers of what they want to reach, but they don't have a specific time frame when they want to hit it. And you got to be a little bit more specific on these goals that you want to shoot for. And it's okay if you don't get there. And it's okay if you don't hit those max numbers, right? It's okay to shoot high and then get very close to the highest goal that you was getting to. You know, don't be, don't put yourself down because you're putting yourself in a bad attitude anyways. So I can't stress that enough for those that are asking when they should quit trading Forex. You have to answer that yourself. You should highly talk, <laughs> always talk. Uh, mentally, you know, in, within yourself to figure out, okay, what am I doing wrong? How am I going to progress throughout the day? You know, if I'm really that stressed out, I need to take a break. There is nothing wrong with taking a break. If you're that stressed out and you're still trying to make money from day trading, you know, I'm not talking about forex trading, but if you're, tra if you're trying to make all your money back, revenge trading is not going to help you out the long way anyways, because all you're doing is trying to put yourself in a bigger hole and you're going to be much more stressed out and depressed if the account gets blown again and again and again. And so it's just a quick video for you guys. I know that is, is a, a very off topic, but it's something that has been brought up to my attention for quite some time. And you know, it, it, I, like I said, don't take my word for it, but you have to really have to dive down within yourself to figure out if this is something that you truly want to sacrifice the time, right? And stay committed in learning and earning your way into trading Forex. If this is what you want to do is Forex trading or day trading or investing in crypto or anything else, right? And so business, you know, comes and goes, opportunities comes and goes, you know, people come and go, but you, but never forget the fact that you are working yourself and redeveloping yourself and reshaping yourself to better yourself, not to make yourself even much more negative and more toxic and more prone to be vulnerable. And so that's easy. That's the, that's the number one thing. Why would you want to pursue something and, and be more negative about the industry because you only been in for like a week or two or 30 days, right? For those of you that have been in, the, in this industry, you know, of, of trading Forex or crypto or whatever, you know, for five plus years or almost 10 years and you're in the professional industry of this, you know, and, and you're constantly losing money, you really have to dive down in your discipline. Number one thing is where's your financial discipline in this? If you're that greedy and, and trying to make a lot of money all at once in one day, obviously then you're going to be consistently blowing accounts because you're constantly trying to rapidly and play high risk all the time, which you cannot do that. There are days you can play high risk and maximize your capital with maximizing your profits, but there are days that you're not going to maximize at all. And that's when those are the days that you guys got to cut back. So, but like I said, it all comes down with the amount of time that you put into this and, and how much screen time that you're really looking at the charts. And so other than that, hope that you guys have a great day, great week. Uh, hope that, you guys are catching pips, right? And making profits. And obviously, never, ever, for, never, ever stop learning and redeveloping, you know, who you are. And, and you're always going to meet people for a reason. And there's always opportunities in life. There's plenty, <laughs> there's plenty of networks out there, right? That you can work with. And like I said, you, it all comes back to you. It all comes back to you because if, 
if I'll be honest right now, if all I'm doing is just me consistently blowing accounts year after year, right? I mean, this is my third year of trading and I'm not getting anywhere. I really have to dive back down and look at myself and say, you know what? Why am I still blowing accounts? Why am I still at back to square one, right? Why am I always back to square one? Why am I back to phase zero? Why am I back at the same position of where I'm at in life? Because you're trying to go forward in life, not trying to go backwards, tense, right? You're, not, you're, like, like, you're trying to get two steps ahead in life, but here you're going four steps back. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the easy way I can say it. And so I know I'm rambling on a lot of different things here. So, but anyways, but like I said, I'm going to portray this because it's much more to life than just trading Forex. And with, and like I said, if you're, if you're that in, if you're in that negative state of mind, you know, you got to have to revamp yourself. And what I mean by that is that seriously dive down and, and, and really look and reevaluate yourself where you're going in life. You know, just because, you know, someone is very successful on YouTube doesn't mean you're going to have that. You know, it doesn't mean that you're going to be doing the same thing what they're doing. You guys got to understand that you have your own talents. You have your own way of thinking and how you're going to portray your life to other people when you meet them. And so other than that, that's it, guys. Peace out. And I will see you guys in the next video. So other than that, happy week for you guys.